Dryden's famous phrase about John Donne, he affects a metaphysics, is taken from his work, a discourse concerning the original and progress of satire. Name the critic who regarded Donne as the monarch of wit, J.B. Lishman, who wrote about metaphysical poets as the unnatural that too is natural, Johann Wolfgang. In which work did Samuel Johnson use the term metaphysical poets? Lives of the most eminent English poets. And it was Samuel Johnson who coined the term metaphysical poets and used it in the chapter Life of Cowley in his work Lives of the Most Eminent English Poets. And it goes like this, about the beginning of the 17th century appeared a race of writers that may be termed as metaphysical poets. The most heterogeneous ideas are yoked by violence together. Who wrote these words about metaphysical poetry? Samuel Johnson. And it means that metaphysical poets display their wit by joining unconnected ideas in order to create startling images. Who stated that metaphysical poets played with thoughts as the Elizabethans had played with words? Sir Walter Scott. Who remarked the metaphysical poets were men of learning and to show their learning was their whole endeavor? Samuel Johnson. Who is considered to be the only writer before Dryden to speak of metaphysical poets? Drummond of Hawthornden. Name the metaphysical poem that talk of vegetable love to his coy mistress written by Andrew Marvell. Now here are some of his major works. Upon Appleton House, The Garden, an oration ode upon Cromwell's return from Ireland, The Mower Song, The Definition of Love, Bermudas. In which metaphysical poem do we find the expression the Indian Ganges site? To his coy mistress, written by Andrew Marvell. Name the metaphysical poet who compared soul with a drop of dew in his poem, Andrew Marvell. And the poem is On a Drop of Dew. Who is the only Puritan among metaphysical poets? Andrew Marvell. And he had also been appointed as assistant to Milton. Who wrote the poem on Mr. Milton's Paradise Lost? Andrew Marvell. And it is a note praising Milton's epic poem Paradise Lost. And it is attached to the second edition of Paradise Lost. Name the metaphysical poet who wrote pattern poems. George Herbert. Pattern poems or shape poems are poems in which words are arranged to form a certain shape of the subject, a practice of Edison in the 18th century called false wit. Herbert's the altar and Easter wings are examples of pattern poems. The altar is arranged in the page in the shape of an altar. And if you turn the poem Easter wings sideways, you can see the shape of two pairs of wings. Delight of the muses and wishes to her supposed mistress are the notable secular poems of Richard Cresher. Which metaphysical poet is considered by John Milton as one of the three great English poets, the other two being Shakespeare and Spencer? Abraham Cowley. In 1921, who published metaphysical lyrics and the poems of the 17th century, which collected poems by Dunn, Herbert, Vaughan, Marvel and Carew? Herbert Grierson. The Metaphysical Poets is an essay written by T.S. Eliot. The English critic who first praised the Metaphysical Poets for their unified sensibility, T.S. Eliot. Another term for Metaphysical Poets, Baroque Poets. Name the Metaphysical Poet to compare two legs of a compass to the lover's souls in one of his poems, John Donne. And he made this comparison in his poem, A Valediction Forbidding Morning. And here are a few major poems of John Donne. Go and Catch a Falling Star, Death Be Not Proud, The Canonization, The Sun Rising, Batter My Heart, The Flea, The Good Morrow, The Dream, A Hymn to God the Father. 
Name the poem by John Donne in which we can find the Phoenix Riddle, the canonization, and the poem is said to have born out of the poet's love for his wife and more. In which poem did John Donne treat lover's tears as the wine of love? Twickenham Garden. John Donne's poem, which is probably about his wife's death, a nocturnal upon St. Lucy's Day. Name the famous prose work written by John Donne. Devotions upon emergent occasions and it was published in 1624. What is the origin of the phrase no man is an island? Devotions upon emergent occasions. So this phrase is taken from Donne's famous prose work and the line goes like this. No man is an island entire of itself every man is a piece of the continent and the writer Thomas Merton used it as a title for one of his works and another phrase from the same work is for whom the bell tolls which is used by the famous American writer Ernest Hemingway for the title of his novel. Who called John Donne the first poet in the world in some things? Ben Johnson. And Ben Johnson was an English playwright and poet and also one of the most successful writers of his era. Who defined the wit of metaphysical poets as a kind of discordia concourse? Samuel Johnson. And it is a Latin phrase and it means harmony or unity gained by combining conflicting elements. And Dr. Johnson in his Lives of the Most Eminent English Poets defined Discordia Conquers as a combination of dissimilar images. The term which is associated to metaphysical poetry that suggests the tendency of these poets to display their learning in poetry, wit. Carpedium is one of the themes of metaphysical poetry and what does this Latin phrase mean? Seize the day or make use of the opportunity and it is one of the themes of metaphysical poetry and the other themes are religion and love. Name the metaphysical poet who wrote the small masterpiece Ode of Wit, Abraham Cowley. Who wrote the elegy on the death of Richard Crashaw? Abraham Cowley and it was Abraham Cowley who wrote Pindaric Ode for the first time. Name the collection of religious poems of Richard Crashaw, The Step to the Temple. Who is considered as a saint of metaphysical school? George Herbert. Who wrote the poems The Retreat and I Saw Eternity the Other Night? Henry Vaughan. The Retreat is a poem of childhood which influenced Wordsworth in the composition of Ode on Intimations of Immortality.